Opportunity cost, opportunity cost, opportunity cost. Let's look into how I messed up on my trade and I'm holding on to my bag and now I'm missing out on potentially a $1,500 trade and more trades beyond that. Opportunity cost is a huge factor within trading. So when you make a mistake and you're holding on to a bag, you miss out on potential opportunities. Stay tuned to the video. This is going to be behind the trade where I go behind the scenes of me learning how to become an expert, consistent trader, especially on the short term timeframes. Let's get into the video and into the charts. Let me show you where I went wrong. If you can see this blue line, I had an entry in the position or along at 58,700 for Bitcoin. I thought levels were going to get supported down here at the 58,650 ish level. And then it was going up and I didn't expect it to break. And I should have set a stop loss for it if it broke that I could get into a trade afterwards my thought process was we're in a bull market worst case scenario is i will just hold on to this and just wait for another trade but i didn't factor in the fact that there's opportunity cost when you hold on to your bag when you hold on to your investment and you're trying to make more money on the shorter term but it put into context i'm a lot better trading at the daily and higher time frames and just have been profitable in that in that sense on the longer term time frames i'm trying to learn how to be an expert trader more consistent trader on shorter time frames from basically day trading bitcoin what i'm trying to do is to be able to qualify for a tax exemption the irs tax exemption within the us which means that i have to trade more often yeah i could make really really small trades and still continue what i'm doing but i thought this would be a nice challenge to learn more about everything that i'm not too familiar with and tried to build up my skill set in this way, that was my main mistake right here, was I didn't set a stop loss. And the reason why I didn't set a stop loss was sometimes I'll set an imaginary stop loss if I'm monitoring the chart, just to see if a trade is gonna go sideways and potentially go up, or if it's just gonna wick and there's gonna be high volatility and I'm gonna monitor the volume just to double check. And then the price will adjust and then, so I don't get wicked out. Wicked out was is the price will just hit that those low, low lower levels it'll get bought up automatically and at the close of where the price closes at the time frame i'm looking at is that it's actually higher and then now i got stopped out so what i'll do is i'll i'll just set an imaginary stop loss and then if it gets lower than that imaginary stop loss and doesn't get bought up bought up in the way that i'm watching then i'll get out of the trade where i went wrong and the big mistake that f***ed me was i didn't i went to sleep because crypto is 24 hours seven days a week does not sleep on holidays does not care about your health or well-being while you're sleeping a lot of different things can happen for me it's happened both ways where i went to sleep i set a stop loss it hit the stop loss but then it bounced up and i missed out on a significant trade going upwards i've had the other way happen as well I don't set a stop loss in this case this this is one of those mistakes i made again and then it continues to dive downwards and onwards and now instead of just sitting on a potential loss of a few hundred dollars this would have been a 150 dollars loss now i'm holding on to my whole position waiting to for it to get back into break even and i would have caught this trade based on the support levels and I probably would have caught this trade at down here at 50, 50,000, 55,940, probably around there, maybe a little bit above in this region right here or where this, where these simple moving averages crossed. And I would have caught it around this area here as well at the 56, 56,800 level. And if you're in the measure of these different levels, if I caught it here, this is a $1,500 trade because I would have got out at, at the next support resistance level. This is about a $1,600 trade, 1600, 1634 but I probably would have got out at one of the levels below it at 15000 
That's why I that's why the opportunity cost that I'm having from making that big mistake is now that I can't trade. I can't make these these trades. And to put in the context, I've been profitable on higher time frames, dailies, looking at the 12 hour, 8 hour, even the 4 hour plus and being able to trade longer term, swing trading essentially, and being able to hold it for weeks, months, and then cash out at some of the higher positions. Some of the biggest trades that I've made have been around the $15,000 range. I, didn't, I don't have a full Bitcoin, so I didn't make that specifically, but a quarter of that was what I was trading with at that time, $3,700 trade. And in the past, I made probably my biggest trade. That was my biggest trade recently. When you look at this, trying to get profitable inside the shorter time frames takes not only speed, but also takes constant monitoring as well, depending on which time frames you're looking at. And then also staying to your system and the strategy that you set. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set a stop loss at one to 3%, maybe even higher that depending on what the support levels I'm watching. If I go to sleep, just so that I don't lose out on the potential opportunity cost of being able to make money in these trades because I'm trading on shorter time frames now. So one of the things you want to do is to be able to stick to your trades and to be able to stick and know that there is an opportunity cost depending on how you're trading. I hope this helps and I hope this content, you enjoy this type of content looking at the behind the scenes of trading and me becoming an expert trader, me becoming a more consistent trader and being profitable on the shorter time frames. I want to be able to replicate my day job income, which is a six figure income, and then also reach a million dollars liquid within the cryptocurrency cryptocurrency market. That's my ultimate goal is to be able to trade and get to that level. So this is going to be a, a behind the scenes of my adventure adventures in crypto trading long-term investments short-term investments within trading bitcoin altcoins from large cap to micro cap and everything in between of how i'm exploring this market so subscribe to the channel if that's interesting to you and you want to follow my adventures so you can use this for educational and informational purposes i am not a financial advisor so take all of this with a grain of salt and just follow me on my journey as I learn as much as I can to become an expert trader. Like the video if you like the video. Cheers. We'll talk soon. Take care.